What's up guys, Escudo52 and welcome back to another video. On today's video we are going to be reviewing the Peelers V2 playing cards by Organic Playing Card Company. Let's get into it. So as I said guys, we are reviewing the V2s by Organic Playing Card Company. Now the Organic Playing Card Company have worked in association with Riffle Shuffle and they've done some other projects before. So we've had the Squeezers and we've had the Peelers V1. So the tuck case comes in this little sort of cargo crate, which is really cool. And in addition to the V1s, we have this little spider thing on the back there. Um, other than just looking like a crate and a little stamp, this is Peelers Playing Cards on there. On the back or the bottom of the deck, we have some ad work. It says 2019 second edition, one of 2,500 designed by Organic Playing Card Company, produced by Kevin Yu. You might remember from Esther Star, and all that sort of stuff and distributed by Riffle Shuffle Playing Card Company and it's got where, where they're based and Riffle Shuffle's website. When we pop the tuck inside we have got these. Now this is the back design for the peelers. We've got these two funky little bananas in there sort of like Andy Warhol pop figures on this like pinky red background. It's nuts. I love it. I love the simplicity of it and it's just fun. It is just a fun deck of playing cards. Now the cards come with two jokers. They come with a organic playing card, ad card, and a double backer. We've got the jokers, and we have the double backer. Now the jokers do have a gaff card, sort of trick with them, which is brilliant. It's got like a little reveal on there. <clears throat> so that's something you can have some fun with. Now the pips are all standard up up for, um, in terms of the face card. So we've got these teals instead of blacks, and we've got the same red that's on the back on the diamonds and hearts. The cork cards, however, have a little funky twist to them. They've added more bananas this time. So each one of the um, cork cards has got this sort of banana on there, and one of their each of them are doing something different. So the queen's sort of holding it. There's a um, a sword made out of bananas. There is the jacks are chomping away on bananas. It's an incredibly funny sort of concept that they've added into it. Well, as the court cards being customised, the aces do have a, a little bit on there, and it's mainly just on the ace of spade. And it's got this uh, banana that's attached to the spade down one side. It goes, so it's got peelers and yellow. It's got a peeled banana down one side of the spade. I think it's just like a funky little touch just to add on to it. And I love it. I love it. The cards are produced by USPCC, and they are on B stock which means these bananas don't go bad. And also they come out of the box almost feeling like a brand new deck of cards, which is lovely. So you can just get these out, start doing card spirits, start doing magic with them, and springing them like anything, like a madman on the loop. So these cards are super vibrant, super funky, super fresh, and just a whole lot of fun to play around with. If you, if you missed them, go pick them up if there's any around. Uh, they are a whole bunch of fun to have in your hand. Now, let's get into the review. In terms of aesthetics, I don't really think there's much more you can do apart from adding bananas to the pips of the, um, the normal cards, but I like that they haven't done too much funky stuff so it doesn't detract away from the magic. So in terms of that, I'm gonna give it a 12 out of 30. In terms of handling, I'm gonna give these a 11 out of 13 because they do handle really well straight out of the deck and you, you know they don't clump together when you're doing cardistry. The USPCC B stock is actually really good with these cards and you can, as you can see from where I'm going now, you can really hold them and they don't clump and they don't drop and they're not too glossy and they slide away like this. So I love that about them. 
In terms of durability, I will say that with the B-Stock, you do seem to get quite a long the level of durability. In fact, I've been like playing with these for like, probably about a week now, uh, and they haven't, you know, bent, crimped, or you haven't got like dirty edges to them. They've held up quite well, so that is a bonus, and I'll give that a 10 out of 13. In terms of practicality, I just love everything about it. I love the gaff, I love all that. Um, it's a very well designed thing um, and it doesn't detract anyway. In fact, it's quite fun. People see the bananas and say, oh, you've got bananas on the cards and it's kind of like a cool little funky thing. So I'm going to give that a 10 out of 13, giving it an overall score of 43 out of 52. That's right. <laughs> Anyway guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you comment down below for anything else that you'd like me to review, or anything you'd like me to teach, or anything you'd like me to react. Also, thank you for all of the views and hits and loves and likes on my last video. I did not expect it to blow up like that, and I've got like 4.5 thousand views on it from today, and that's just blowing my mind. Um, in fact, my mum phoned me the other day, I was like, oh my god, have you seen your YouTube video? It's it's, it's got like so many, so many views. <clears throat> You're like a real YouTuber now. So. <laughs> yeah, that happened. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.